Today we're going to look at special products of polynomials. I've written a few problems down. Let's take a look and look for patterns. In the first problem, it says x plus 9 quantity squared. You might be tempted to call that x squared plus 81, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Remember that that means to say x plus 9 times x plus 9, which is going to be x squared plus outer 9x plus inner 9x plus last 81, which simplifies to x squared plus 18x plus 81. Let's look at another one. x plus 4 quantity squared. Remember, that's x plus 4 times x plus 4, and that's going to be x squared plus inner plus outer plus last, which is x squared plus 8x plus 16. We could go on with some other problems, but I'm hoping that what you see is that the first term is the square of the first term. The last term is the square of the last term. And the middle term, well, it is the product of the two terms doubled. If I multiply x and 9, I get 9x, and if I double it, I get 18. If I multiply x and 4, I get 4x, and if I double that, I get 8. And so the pattern that you should see is that x plus y, quantity squared, is the square of the first term. I'll skip to the end and say it's the square of the last term. And then it is the product of the two middle terms, of the two terms, doubled. So if I have y plus 7 squared, no need to write it down twice. I can square the first term, square the last term, and for the middle term, I'll multiply 7 times y and double it, 14y. That is the square of a perfect square. And as you might imagine, this is also true if you subtract the two terms. The same pattern will hold. It's the square of the first term, the square of the last term, and remember that's going to be positive, but I'll be subtracting this middle term because of this subtraction sign in between. 